Right, we are back with Sherlock Holmes, Riddle on the Rails, I think it is. Holmes, how is it even possible for a train to So, disappear? we did the experiment, and it wasn't the train that we saw. Why am I going there? What do I need to do? Ah, okay. Anything in here? Nothing. Where'd Watson go? Where is it? You have quite a number of dirty tools lying around here. Ah, yes. Well, thank you for reminding me. I should clean them. Although, it might be easier to put them outside. Seems it might start raining soon. I meant, what were they used for? Some workers come here and borrowed them from me. They wanted to lift the edge of the railway to one of the stations on the line, so that the water wouldn't come in too close. Who were these workers? Well, they didn't seem to be from the company, but they was fine lads. They invited me to share a drink, <laughs> and whatever it was, it had a kick to it. They wasn't English. No, I don't believe so. But see, they knew just what a man needed to brighten up his dull evening. The whole train just disappeared. It's unbelievable. Mm. What's well, not very useful? He just stands there and says things. I think I need to go back to the other station. Because I didn't fully explore it. Bridlington, wasn't it? Bridlington. Need to explore this one. <coughs> right. I talked to the people in here. Oh, there's a little shed over there. And lift luggage will go in here. Railway post bags. Okay. Oh, what was that? Oh, door. Okay. What are you doing, Watson? Check in here. Nothing. Let me check this little shed I think over here. Oh, okay. I won't. Let's talk to this guy again. According to this document, you have insurance for your prototype. Oh, thank God. Where did you find it? Near the telegraph station. I must have lost it when I tried to send a message, which I was prevented from doing. I apologise for that, but regulations state that public access to the telegraph is strictly prohibited. Upon my word, you keep on digging that hole of yours. You have no idea who I am. I see that you kept your grip sack with you. Why don't you leave it in the luggage room? I've had other things to think about. I lost my prototype. And this idiot station master just stands here doing nothing to help. Oh, but... Well, that won't do at all. 
Station Master, I believe that the regulations state that any passenger luggage should be taken to the luggage room. I'll do it right away, sir. Sorry, sir. This Robinson is quite a character. We should learn more about him. To the luggage room. This grip sack belongs to Mr. Robinson. Oh, well, we know. We just put it in here. Holmes, this is what they call force majeure. I'll keep watch. Of course. Start with the outside. Take it to about here. Those are a lot easier than I thought they'd be. Look, Watson, a bundle of contracts. Very suspicious. We should study them carefully. Mr. Robinson is the seller. An exclusive sales contract. Robinson's the seller. Right. Yet another exclusive sales contract. Mr. Robinson is the seller. Yet another exclusive sales contract. Mr. Robinson is the seller. He's selling to multiple people. It's not exclusive. Yet another exclusive sales contract. Mr. Robinson is the seller. Well, it is very clear that this Mr. Robinson received prepayments from various people for his machine. I think he's a victim now. Here's to you, Mr. Robinson. I will not move from here okay. until I receive my... It's a scandal, an absolute outrage. What now? Don't touch anything, please. Where are all the clues? I don't think I do. I do not. Now where? Uh...
Well, that should. I got it, Evesham. Why not? See what's there. The entire train has disappeared. It's a disaster. I'm always wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. So am I. If I just go back to the spot. I don't know. He was one of the workers. Who have I missed? So there's two more people I've got to meet. A little bit of a cheap, but riddling to. I've just been here though. What's on the other way? Why did I come back here? Just a field. I'm just going all over the place. Anyone here? Peace. Okay, you just don't want to be over there. <coughs> There's I'm baffled. Either I'm just being really stupid. I can't solve the mystery. There's nothing to solve.
I'm always wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. The entire train has disappeared. It's a disaster. I will not move from here until I receive my... It's a scandal! An absolute outrage! Don't touch anything, please.
fake train. Ha! What a clever and devilish trick. This bin is full of empty boxes. Now we have two maps. We must combine them properly. Here it is. There is a side branch to the railway. Its first switch is located between Bridlington and Chesterfield stations. There is one more station to be visited. It is located between Chesterfield and Evesham, and there should be a side railway to the nearby quarry. There is a small section of a railway at the end of Evesham station. Right, I don't know what happened to the sound there. Went a little bit weird, but... Basically all we found were like three new spots to locate or look at and this one is just at Evesham station and this is like a destroyed building. That's what we did. The sound went really weird then. But anyway, let's carry on. Let's take a closer look. N nothing interesting here. Nothing interesting here. Nothing interesting here. Nothing interesting here. The distance between the tracks is about six feet seven inches. The vehicle would have been heavy as these tracks are quite deep. These traces are relatively fresh and were made by a large truck loaded with materials.
I'm always wondering what's on your mind, Holmes. I think that's everything. Let's just talk to the station master. It appears that there was a small warehouse near your station and that it was disassembled. <coughs> Why is that? It was burgled overnight about two weeks ago. The police have already started their investigation, but I doubt that they'll find anything. What was inside the warehouse? Nothing of value. A few hundred feet of standby rails and some spare railway parts. But it wouldn't be easy to steal all of that. Why would anyone want to? See you later, my good man. Hmm. They were building another railway park. Where are you running up to, mate? Character. He looks anxious. And he is not an Englishman. He certainly is not. I'd say Mexican. Hmm. This scent is familiar to me, but in order to recognize it, I must combine my associations into one picture. If you just make a Mexican hat. Can't bring it down. That's it, Sparrow. A greenish brown cigar with a strong <coughs> aroma, a hint of peppermint. Ricardo. You already know the name of this man? Holmes, you amaze me. No, Watson, I refer to the cigar. It is a Ricardo Turrent, a Mexican cigar of an excellent quality. Quite an expensive one, too. This ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. A greenish brown cigar with a strong aroma, a hint. He's been smoking a lot. Peppermint. 
These ashes and cigar stubs are similar to the one that we found on the floor. Some of the stubs were recently smoked. There are others that appear fairly old. That means that the fellow spent several days here. Judging by his clothes, he's hardly a traveler or a tramp. Well concluded, my dear fellow. A man who smoked the Ricardo brand of Mexican cigar spent several long days at Doncaster Station. Apparently, there was a conflict between the Mexicans and the Chileans. This ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. So have a little look around before we chase that man. Oh, okay, we might chase him. <coughs> Newspaper articles on horse racing, hurdles, steeplechase, and flat racing. He is a true enthusiast, Holmes. Or he's going to do some betting. See? Betting slips for horse racing. There's more. The sums are quite impressive. It can be an expensive vice. This man had probably used all his savings. So it's a safe bet. He thinks it is anyway. A telegraph. Holmes, look. There's a flooded area over here. Hmm. I believe that the flooded area might be worth checking. Where'd that man go? Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. John Watson. We are investigating the case of the vanished train. Is that so? Well... Good day, gentlemen. I am Mr. Duff, the station master of this station. I'll be happy to help you in any way I can, but there's not much that I can tell you about last night. Well, I'm missing a lot. No, what? So. Oh, you oh no watch for a train master. Seems a bit fishy. It appears that you may be at risk of some flooding along the line here. You mean that the whole bloody lake is at our feet? Quite so. But it is strange because according to my map, there should be a quarry here, and behind that, the lake. How should I know? I only arrived here a few months ago. And where did you work before that? Well, I was working in Nottingham, but I asked for a quieter place, so they transferred me here. Life is cheaper, I can't really complain. Did any passengers leave or board the train last night? No. I saw no one as usual. I reported the train's passage by telegraph. Just the same as all the other nights. 
You're my main suspect. I observe that you are a gambling man, Mr. Duff. You had hoped that your relocation to this small town might have helped ease your addiction, but it was not to be. I beg your pardon? Addiction to what? We found a number of horse racing tickets inside your office. Well, well, we all have our weaknesses. An expensive obsession, surely, for a station master. It is none of your business. I occasionally attend the races with my colleagues. And anyway, that's my private life. There was a gentleman of Mexican origin, I believe, in the waiting room. Did you notice him? What? A Mexican? Here in the back of beyond? Are you quite sure about that? Goodbye, sir. It is obvious that we cannot inspect the quarry. Instead, we can check the beach area around the flooded lake. Go all the way around the other side. I swear something did pop up. There. No, I guess not. What's over here, though? Nothing. A uh, Watson. Would you like some tea? No. <laughs> Nothing in here. Railway post bags. This post bag belongs to the station master. The station master appears to have found himself in some financial trouble. He is my top suspect. Suspect. I think it missed. Or did it pass? Ah, uh, missed. Where'd that guy go? Yeah. Investigate more. Side railway branch. Doing chest field. To the railway switch. But it still works. Is that it? Is that, is that all I had to do? No, it's more.
Look at these tracks. This road should go in the same direction as the railway. Okay. So is this one go? A fake train. Ha! What a clever and devilish. Watson, train. what do you do? Mines. Ah. This is interesting. Possible for someone to redirect the train towards the mines. God, there's a lot to explore. Let's have a look at the beach first. Ooh. Here we are at the beach that is located near the quarry and Doncaster station. These traces were made by a carriage. Look. <sighs> Nothing interesting here. Nothing interesting here. The distance between the tracks is about six feet, seven inches. The vehicle would have been heavy, as these tracks are quite deep. The vehicle would have been no, heavy, as these tracks... The vehicle pressed this stone into the ground. It would have been quite heavy. We established it's heavy. are relatively fresh, and were made by a large truck loaded with materials. The traces found at the disassembled shed near Evesham and at the lake were from the same vehicle. An advertisement for lake cruises. An abandoned gypsy caravan. This place was abandoned fairly recently. There's blood there. Observing the coastline and the moored boats, we are able to see that the lake's water level dropped. The lake has flooded the quarry. The dam was probably breached. A label with the name Las Zarpas. How's oh, everything here? the mines. Here are the mines homes. They appear to be abandoned. Appear to be, yes, Watson. This mine has completely collapsed, Holmes. It is curious, but to be truthful, I am not entirely surprised. It's difficult to follow you, Holmes. Someone removed these screws, most probably to take down the rails. A few feet of the rails have been dismantled. So the train is, I reckon, under there.
Hmm. This is an unusual kind of paper, stiff and dry. It was used for a specific purpose. Let us look inside. Sawdust. I am almost certain it is a... Watson, could you assist, please? Do you have your pistol? Good. Fire at this package. Dynamite. Okay, if I don't pick that. I'm gonna say it, but it's a bit obvious. This box must be the safe. Let's open it. Go with this bit. That's it, surely. The Mexican company Caracal and the Chilean Barcazas both want to buy the mines. I need more information. Perhaps Mycroft could help. It seems that both South American companies were involved in the purchase of the mine. The man at Doncaster who fled our approach 
He smokes Mexican cigars. Perhaps... Yes, Watson. We should certainly speak with him. We certainly should. <laughs>